Welcome to the Kitsy Shelf. My name is DM. Today I have a project share for the KS Craft Store and I worked with their boombox die, which looks like this. You get a layering piece for your boombox. Um, these are indicator buttons, layering pieces. You get all sorts of buttons to decorate your boombox as well as a number of speaker options. And then if you wanted to, you can turn your speakers into shakers as well because it comes with these pe uh, pieces with the frames. And then I also worked with their um, mini skateboard die set, which looks like this, um, as they do have like two sets and this is the smaller size. And in this set, you get the base piece, a layering piece, as well as this piece here that allows you to also layer uh, this piece and as well um, turn your skateboard into a shaker if you wish. And then um, I did, um, in their larger set, which looks like this, um, you also get an alpha set in the larger set, and I did uh, use this as well, just to let you know. And then they also have um, a soda pop bottle set, which is really cute. There's actually two sizes, and I did work with the mini size, like the smaller size. And in it, you do get the uh, base piece. This is a layering piece, which also allows you to create a shaker. And these are like a uh, label. So this is a label for this part of the bottle. And then this is a label for down here. And then uh, it comes with a straw as well as a can opener. And then this is uh, the bottle cap. Uh, so let me show you how my project turned out. So um, the boombox die was actually based on a uh, design by uh, Christian from Christian's uh, Crafty Adventures as she made some really cute boom boxes on her channel and she even has like a really wonderful tutorial that she put together um, so um, this was based on that and um, so this is a smaller version of um, her boom box and um, I'm gonna link her tutorial in the description box below but um, Hannah from Chaos Craft also put a uh, tutorial together for this uh, smaller version of the boombox, which I'll also link in the description box below. So um, for my boombox, I really wanted to stick with the 80s theme. So I use really um, bright neon colors as well as um, I wanted to also add like white glitter accents to it. So as you can see, um, this is what it looks like. And this was actually um, inspired by Gem, like it's a cartoon from the 80s. And um, so like that's Gem in the holograms that is. So um, I used like colors, I was inspired by Gem. So it's like really bright and like, a really colorful boombox. So um, at the front here, as you can see, the speakers have that really uh, nice detail at the back. Uh, like it looks like mesh to give you, you know, the look of speakers. And then um, also like they do have another option which has the lines and you could sort of see it on the acetate here that I made. And then I just filled them with really fun uh, sequins. Um, so these ones have like zebra stripes and I thought it really went well with this, um, you know, 80s look. And I could put a link to those in the uh, description box as well. And then um, I just decorated with the buttons here. And um, with the buttons, I did uh, use like foam board to uh, layer them. And then, um, so this is the top part, which has like the indicator buttons or the indicators, um, and the indicators do emboss like those marks into it, but you can't really tell with the uh, glitter that I used. And then up here, I also um, like turned it into a shaker and added uh, shaker bits at the top. And then uh, for the base of the boom box, um, I just wanted it to have like that Memphis design look. So um, I decorated that just using whatever I had in my collection. And um, these pieces that you see here, um, they actually come from another KS craft set, which is the uh, roller skate. And uh, the roller skate comes with all these little pieces that have a very 80s vibe. So like you get the lightning bolts, uh, stars, as well as uh, hearts. So I just use those to, um, you know, die cut those pieces out and decorate my box. Um, and then the little squiggly purple lines, th those came from like my uh, gingerbread dyes because I really uh, wanted to just use whatever I had in my stash. And then um, the little cassette, like the boombox doesn't come with a cassette, but um, I had a, like the Doodlebug summer radio cut bell 
uh, from the Silhouette Design Store. I believe it's also available on the Cricut. And um, I really wanted to put that cassette on the front, but instead of just um, using the cut file, I wanted to show you that if you wanted to, you could actually create a cassette um, just using the pieces that were given in the collection, um, in this uh, boombox die set that is. So for example, um, the face on the uh, cassette here, like the eyes and cheeks, those are like from the buttons here. And then uh, these lines are also from this set. And then uh, basically everything. So um, the cassette base, all I did was I cut it out uh, twice. Um, and then, so for example, it looks like this. And then I just uh, staggered, you know, the pieces and then cut them off on the side here, cut them off at the bottom there just to get this piece here and then uh, the rest it's just a matter of um, cutting strips and even using you know like the circle pieces to stagger so that I could get a curved edge here and then I just use my white gel pen to make the little dots there so pretty simple and so you could totally make your own cassette um, using the pieces given in this uh, die set and then um, another thing I did was uh, just to make this like really fun and interactive here uh, for the cassette piece here, I made it um, so that you can open it up like this and like include a little message at the back. And at the back there, it just says you rock. So uh, that is an idea for you. And I have it uh, closing with a magnet here. And um, that was quite simple to create. All you have to do is um, just grab a piece of paper, uh, fold it in half, and then um, I just use the um, boombox piece here, I'll show you, uh, which looks like this. Like you would just um, grab your piece of paper that you folded in half with the folded side on the bottom, and then uh, just line it up here. And then when you cut this, uh, line it up so that it's, the piece of paper is just right above the cut line so that it doesn't cut that uh, bottom piece there. And then um, you'll get something that looks like this, so that, um, you know, it opens up. And um, so that's what I did here. And then um, I layered this other piece on top of it uh, so that I could make it uh, really sturdy. So for this top piece, all you have to do is uh, cut this out, layer it onto a uh, piece of cardstock, and then cut the, like just cut around the edge so that it's uh, one solid piece just to make it sturdy and uh, that's how I was able to create that and then at the top of the uh, boom box here I just used those buttons that were given in the die set to add these little buttons which I uh, layered with foam uh, for the handle I did create my own handle um, using my silhouette machine um, and then I just because I previously made a boom box like a hello kitty boom box and I already um, created that file, so I just used uh, that and I layered it a couple times just to make it uh, really sturdy. And then on this, um, so I did layer uh, the box here, as you can see. And then um, on the side here, I just have some uh, charms hanging off with a uh, plastic lobster clasp. And then, um, so I really wanted to give this like a lot of um, like charms because like in the 80s, they had like a whole bunch of like charms and I was going for that um, that look. So um, I use the little soda pop bottles to make these little charms. Um, so for example, I made the charms in a Care Bear theme. And then um, here, this one has like Grumpy Bear. And the digitals are from a Etsy shop. It's from the Hand Mech Etsy shop, which I'm gonna put a link to in the uh, description box below. So I made, um, grumpy bear i also um oh let me just show you the rest of them first i did one uh, with cheer bear and then um also I'm just gonna go a little bit closer here so you can see the details i made one with cheer bear and then uh, for the dig digitals i use my holographic paper that i recently shared uh, to you know um, give it like the holographic sticker paper to give it more interest and as you can see, um, I put little fun shaker bits. It's got rainbows and clouds, like you can't really see them that well right now, but um, I also used the straw, which is so cute. And as you can see, um, the little bottle caps. So these have like so much details in them. And then um, I also made one with um, Good Luck Bear, which looks like this. Sorry, it's just like 
falling over here so um that one's got good luck there and then um i also made this little uh roller i uh, sorry this little uh skateboard um shaker using the mini um skateboard set and um, just added really fun sequence bits to them. And then on the back of the roller skate, I do, um, like I did layer it, and then I just put this uh, cute sentiment using the alphabet dies in the larger set. And then um, for my uh, charms here, I just used the fun uh, jump rings uh, to add them to the side here. So I thought that was like a really fun, and a cute thing to do with the like smaller um, soda pop bottles as well as the um, skateboard since they are of a smaller size. And then, um, so the box just opens up here. Oh, and the, so this measures like uh, six inches by four inches uh, to let you know. And it was really fun to put together. And then on the inside here, um, uh, for the uh, inside of the cover, I just decorated it with um, some fun paper as well as um, stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I thought I was like dying to use those stickers because I thought they're so cute. Like, why not use your stickers? Because uh, what's the point of buying them? <laughs> and then on the inside, I just uh, made really fun. Um, so this boombox, it actually co coordinates with their um, smaller cassette die. Uh, sets that are available in their shop so um and um hannah did um like do the mo measurements over so that it would fit the uh smaller cassette tapes and then for my cassette tapes i just um decorated them in a very like 80s uh style and then um i use like digitals to um make little stickers and then i also added my um holographic uh sticker sheet just to give them more interest and then um, you could put all sorts of goodies in these so for example this one has more um soda pop bottles that i made um so uh we have wish bear as well as a uh, fun shine bear um here and i think these are just so fun and then I also uh, use glitter to, um, you know, decorate these little uh, soda pop bottles. And then um, here's another one. I'm just going to move this aside here so you can see a little better. And then um, so this one, I, again, I just use uh, digitals to make those little stickers. And I love using uh, di digitals because you can make them any size you wish. And I have a little like boom box here as well as a sneaker, like the Converse. And then um, this one's just holding um, the Converse uh, shaker that I made. Um, and this is another die that is available in their shop as well. But I purchased this on my own. And um, I actually put this together last night and it was quite um, like simple to put together. Like it came together really quickly. And I just love the details on this. Like I had to make a pink one because I did own a pink pair and I put really fun uh, shaker bits into them. They look so realistic. I love this. So um, I use that. And then these other two um, cassettes on the bottom aren't holding anything yet, but um, really cute and really fun uh, to give to someone. And then um, this is how my other cassette looks. I have like a little Pac-Man as well as a Walkman here, stickers that I made. Yeah, so um, that is how my project turned out. Um, I'm gonna put a link to everything in the uh, description box below. And um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please let me know down below. And um, thank you so much for watching. Bye.